Okay, so in this video, we're gonna show you something really, really interesting. So, what we have here is a USB sound card, and this is the mic port. And I've connected a wire to the mic pin. And uh, my computer, I've opened up Audacity, and I'm recording at 384000. Why 384000? Um, we'll get we'll get to that and that's the maximum sampling rate that my sound card is capable of and um, that's the setup what are we going to do in this video the tube light is a common household uh, equipment and uh, electrical appliance so when you sort of what I'm going to show you in this video is when you switch on and off this tube light my proposition is that I can detect it on my headphone jack. That's what it is. So, when I sort of switch on and off this tube light, I'm going to show you that you can detect it on your headphone jack. Simple headphone jack. So, um, without much ado, let's, let's sort of get into the action. And uh, let me sort of, uh, I want you to sort of take close, like observe the waveform. And um, let me sort of switch off the light. Observe the peak. There is a peak there. And let me sort of switch it on again. And uh, you find these uh, smaller peaks uh, that just appeared because I, when I sort of switch it on. And these have a physical meaning to it, which I'll get to. So let me sort of do it once or twice more so that you can sort of understand what I'm talking about when I sort of switch it off. Switch my tube light off. See, so you see the tube light is off. I mean, on. Now, if I switch it off, there is a peak. It's dark. So, let me sort of switch it on again. And so, this is the peak when I switch it off. And these are the peaks when I sort of. Oh, when I sort of switched it now. So, that's the observation. Now, let's. Now let's dig even deeper. So what do those uh, peaks when I sort of switch on the tube light actually represent? Let me sort of show you. Uh, so this is a tube light and when I sort of switch it off, switching off nothing much great happens. It sort of shuts off the supply. And But observe what happens when I sort of switch it on. You see this, it flickers. It does not just, just start glowing all of a sudden, it flickers. And that's really important. Because, let me sort of pause this recording. You see these flickers that you see, and I've now I have sort of uh, done this a lot of times and sort of. Uh, uh, counted the number of peaks that you observe here and sort of correlated them with the uh, number of flickers that happens on a tube light when you sort of switch off switch it on and they there is a perfect correlation uh, let me sort of amplify this so sort of you can sort of see the signal so when I sort of switched it on there are four peculiar peaks and uh, these four peculiar peaks corresponds to the flickering of the tube light. So the, it flickered four times. And um, the fact that you're able to detect it with nothing but a headphone jack is just truly amazing. But how does this signal look like? See, uh, one of the many reasons why I sort of record uh, at a really high sampling rate is to sort of smooth out these curves that that I get during this recording. Let me sort of zoom in and sort of so we can see what happens. Okay, so I've sort of uh, zoomed into that particular one peak that you saw, and it looks like this. Whoosh. Um, now, I don't know why it forms this particular pattern. I am yet to decipher that, but. Uh, so that's how the waveform looks like when I sort of switch off the tube light. Now, there might, there might, there are 
I like as a as an engineer, as a scientist, I sort of sort of wanted to figure out why this happens, and I sort of developed sort of two theories uh, explaining this phenomena. And uh, one is probably it's probably due to the tube light, as in the electrons that are flowing through this channel sort of are emanating electromagnetic waves that are being de detected by the headphone jack. Now there is this other possibility that you must consider and that's due to the wiring and uh, basically when you sort of switch on uh, any device and um, it sort of the car the it sort of travels through wires across the walls that are there and then reaches the tube light so there is a possibility that the electromagnetic disturbance is due to that so uh, but once i found out that i was able to sort of uh, um, detect the flickers that are happening on the tube light i was slightly more inclined to this rather than this i guess but i, I i'm i'm still not ruling out any possibility and uh, I'm giving both the things uh, as equally uh, possible and uh, unless I find out clearly what happens and uh, let's um, finally let's sort of do one final test uh, because I want to sort of uh, switch on and off different uh, switches so as to ensure that this does not happen to every other switch you know what I mean so um, let me let, let us sort of record this one last time so I am recording it um, and let me sort of switch off other switches I'm sorry you can only hear an audible cue apologize but Okay, so it is only when I switch off the tube light that I get these prominent peaks. Now, you, it is true that um, uh, you sort of get these smaller peaks that are there when I switch on and off other switches. Now, I have no clue what they are trying to say, what they mean, but I can be sure of only one thing, that these two peaks correspond to the tube light. And... That's something I find it truly remarkable that such a beautiful phenomena can be uh, captured by nothing more than a headphone jack, and that just that's just so beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, have a good one. Bye.